Hey everybody, Michael Campbell here, Family Pastor, going over this Sunday's lesson, how it applies to the children, how it applies to us as primary disciple makers in our home as always. And so we are going to talk about this weekend, like we are a part of God's kingdom. We're going to see this concept in Matthew chapter 22, Luke chapter 14 specifically. So what, what makes somebody worthy, right? Like have we ever considered what makes them worthy? Like is it the situation that we find ourselves in or like... What makes somebody worthy in high degrees of responsibility or leadership? Like what makes somebody worthy of recognition and acclaim? And for someone who has been exposed to the things of God, it's common to ask. And what makes somebody worthy of the blessings of God? We just went through the Beatitudes and the teachings of Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount. So like what makes us worthy? So Jesus told a parable in Matthew 22 that speaks to this question specifically. And the answer is that they have is that they have responded to the invitation to their king. Metaphorically, that parable teaches that many are invited, but few are actually chosen, and that those who were chosen are worthy. But contrary to what our culture tells us, like what makes somebody worthy is not their accomplishments, it's not their position or the acclaim. The ultimate answer to that question is not found in what somebody does, but by the grace of the king of the universe. Ephesians 2, uh, 8 to 10, which you might hear, it's, for you are saved by grace through faith. It's not of yourselves. It's a God's gift. It's, it's not from work so that nobody can boast, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. So the good that we do is an outflow of our worthiness given to us by the grace of God through faith in him. So it's not the other way around not the other way around. So like we don't do those good works to earn his grace or to prove his worth. We ought to be careful, honestly, to understand that worthiness comes out as a gift that has been given to us by God and that he is the only king able to assign us worth. And he did that when he created all of us. So let us seek and find our worth in nothing less than this. And so the only thing that we bring to our salvation is the sin that makes it necessary. So some big concepts as we're going through this weekend, but till next time, uh, God bless, take care. You'll notice on the rest of the thread, some discussion questions and memory verses to go over as a family, but take care.